ductility test of bituminous materials, ASHTO T51 and ASTM D113. Using a thin layer of release agent, fully coat the plate and inner surfaces of the mold side pieces. Stir the sample thoroughly before pouring it into the mold. Pour the material in a thin stream, moving it back and forth from end to end of the mold until it is slightly more than full. Cool the sample to room temperature for 35 plus or minus 5 minutes. Place the sample in the water bath for 35 plus or minus 5 minutes at the test temperature. Take the sample out of the water bath and gently pat dry the top of the mold using a paper towel or cotton cloth. Next, promptly use a hot trimming tool to remove any excess material, ensuring the molds are filled to the right level. Return the sample to the water bath at test temperature for 90 plus or minus 5 minutes before testing. Remove the sample off the plate with a shearing motion. Be careful not to bend the sample. Remove the side pieces. and attach the mold to the pins on the testing machine. Pull the two clips apart at a constant speed as specified until the sample breaks or reaches the length limits of the machine. If a sample breaks near either end, the results are considered invalid. The test is deemed invalid if the sample touches the surface of the water or the bottom of the bath. If this occurs, adjust the specific gravity of the bath to ensure the sample does not come in contact with either surface. The material should break close to the center of the sample for valid results. Measure the distance in centimeters at the point the sample broke or when the mechanical limit is reached. Report the average of three valid tests as the ductility of the sample.